Hello, hello. Today is the 26th of March. God, it just flies by. 2021, and I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be reading your viewer tarot weekend. Woohoo! Got my butt in the picture there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not really. Anyhow, um, let's see what comes up for you guys. All right. Okay, so we're looking at the weekend, this weekend, the 27th through the 29th. What does the universe wish to share with you guys? I ask for the assistance of my spiritual mentors. And let's see what the cards have to say. I'm just going to do pairs, which is what I usually do. Okay, we have the Princess of Wands. So that is some enthusiasm and getting to projects, creative projects, work projects, um, you know, things where you're putting your effort, uh, and especially creative, especially creative efforts. Okay. You guys ready to take a shower? <laughs> All right. Uh, Princess of Hearts. This is also to do with the relationship angle. I feel like what I'm getting from this is spending time with friends that are dear to you or or lovers um, it is a blair, very kind of light and flirtatious uh, type of an energy it's meant to have fun so I'm getting a message of have some fun and especially with the flower uh, I'm sorry with the flowers down here and these butterflies I'm feeling like get outside this is advice I'm going to be following this Sunday, especially. Um, tomorrow, I've got a pretty busy day, unfortunately, but um, Sunday, my husband and I are going to go for a walk. It doesn't matter if it's in the rain or sun, uh, we're going. But this feels lighthearted, spending, getting, you know, just making sure you do something that isn't really really heavy dense making sure you take a break and you get some fresh air some sunlight and communicate chat with friends or family or people that you you know enjoy spending time with and talking to and looking at nurturing relationships and engaging in activities with within relationships that are fun um, and if you're on your own more, it's, regardless, it is about nurturing. Get out, go somewhere that you enjoy. Maybe if things are, if you're in an area where you can go to uh, some place that has an aesthetic outdoors, um, that appeals to you, like maybe go for even just a simple walk. It isn't complicated. The, sim the, the simplicity of, of the princes of these cards speak of enjoying the simple things um, and being present in that moment to enjoy them. Wow, this is crazy. Now we got the... I shuffled the bejesus out of these. Now we get the Princess of Swords. Okay, so this is thought. And correspondence. And expression of self. And feelings. Feelings. But she's writing something too. Observing. Like, I feel like this is observation, inspiration. This is feelings. Okay, so I'm getting writing 
I'm getting writing, whether you're writing music, lyrics, a book, a, a poem. I'm feeling that this is speaking to writing. I always knock the camera. Sorry. The Ten of Swords. This deals with about endings that have been painful but that are concluding about loss. Um, write down your feelings to do with anxiety. Any, you know, anything that, an ordeal that you have been through that has been difficult mentally. There is something about writing it out that's very therapeutic and helpful on a creative level and an emotional level as you can see and a mind level it's good for mental health so make this weekend about your mental health and your emotional health get outside process those feelings maybe grab a journal write things down that you need to and let them go because you're beginning a new cycle I'm here to tell you that we are ending a very on many levels, difficult cycle um, where perspective is our mental, where mentality is concerned, it is big, and that we are ending also a very injurious, hostile, negative cycle that is hev heavily oppressive upon oneself and and society in general. So I see this weekend, I'm going to call it processing weekend, but also have fun weekend. Make it fun. Process anything. I think you're going to want to keep a journal at hand. Throw it in your backpack or your handbag, whatever, if you're going for a walk. Because you might be inspired to sit down and write some thoughts out. I also feel like there's communication. You know, communicating with people that maybe where something has a major has occurred sometimes if we've lost someone well, I, I myself am going to be writing my grandmother a long letter um, but I feel like this can be a benefit too to certain people if you've lost or if you're addressing a, a past cycle of, of pain of, that was very difficult I feel like this is a way of processing. Getting out and doing physical activity that is inspiring and, and revives and refreshes. And with the Princess of Hearts, this is enjoying the simple things. Seeing life again through the eyes of a child and giving yourself that permission this is exceptionally inspiring to write and process thoughts as you end a very difficult cycle. King of Wands and the Eight of Swords. This is speaking to a man who particularly with the Wands is a very creative sort. And I feel like he, whoever you are, you're feeling um, very, very stifled very stifled creatively and you don't like that and I don't blame you so you're trying to get some inspiration back it seems like where the block is is on expressing emotions trying to get through the block of feeling like you can express and write down certain emotions perhaps just write it down and don't send it at first. It's important to get it out though so that you're not holding yourself captive and blocking yourself from being able to express feelings. Temperance. It's about balance. The right balance. And think about how you can bring balance into your life in different variations and combinations of things. Write down what you might like to do, what you need to do. See if you can't create time for these things for, for yourself. 
you know, and see if they don't help to bring balance to your situation where mentally processing things are concerned, especially emotionally here. And I see it working with that temperance. It's just saying you just need to balance that block on your feelings where you're scared to express because of being made fun of or somebody not understanding. You know the whole thing. Nobody is fond of making themselves vulnerable. But here, that's exactly what you need to do. Not in a super heavy dramatic way, but in a light way that is fun. Okay? Fun. Keep that in mind. And the Four of Wands, you need more social contact, friend. You do. I'm speaking to a male here of a fire sign. You've been very, very... Um, you're a fire sign. You, you need to get out more, and you thrive by being around other people. That helps your energy. You just need to make sure, and I see you doing it, but take a look at how you are perhaps inhibiting yourself too much where expression of emotion and social connections are concerned in responding to people, getting back to people. I know, I know, but it looks like that's the balance you need so that you have a, a happier balance of social activity so that you have that boost of energy that your fiery nature requires. You will know who you are. <laughs> so don't allow others or other people to make you feel like you can't shine your light. Shine your light. Express yourself emotionally. Have more belief in yourself. And just even in the most simple ways, express your feelings. Uh, and let go of past heavy cycles so you can move on. I see a, a shift in energy here because it's getting more balanced with temperance once you do that. And you go to the Four of Wands, which is very, very beautiful, balanced, social, and personal dynamic of energies. You're going to feel a lot better because you've let go of this very heavy, painful Ten of Swords in uh, energy. Ace of Pentacles. Yes, this is you are, will create, begin a, a new change, new opportunities come your way in life. And I think to do with meeting people, to do with creating uh, things that you can be involved in, hobbies and whatnot, whatever it is that you, something you enjoy, I see you creating something here. And that's really cool in the future, all right? But you've got to let go of this inhibition of this fear of not being worthy enough or somebody making you feel like you can't or the negative self-talk, that be, that needs to go away. And you need to learn how to open up and be vulnerable and just say, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make excuses why I can't do it or won't do it or that nobody will like it, etc. I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. What the heck? And, that's, and let go of the past heaviness and just make a new start. And here we have the Ten of Hearts. This is happiness. Really happy. Once you do that, look at that. Look at that energy flow is proper and healthy with the emotions. Yep. And you're feeling good for the first time. It's going to shift your energy really well. And it brings change. It creates a change in your life that you needed. And I feel like there's writing that opens up. There is mental process that opens up and is balanced and gets things, uh, initiatives going and changes happening into the future because it starts it here. You know, 
it starts it here so that by I'm, I'm seeing in the next week month you're gonna see a real difference two pentacles it's about juggling and balancing energy and you're just going to be learning how to balance your social and your personal life your personal need career needs and your social needs your personal you know you, you king of king of wands whoever you are you're you're a warm fiery card you you do well working with people and you make them feel better you benefit they benefit here so just create that time don't be afraid here don't let don't let yourself hold you back don't let anybody else's jealousy or projection either affect you to think you're not capable because you so are in fact you're very good at it and so the ten of hearts comes into your future if you can let that go all right and i see you being able to do it you're smart you're going to figure it out and you're going to feel better for it socially more active socially different people too looking for a different um, type of people than you've had in the past that brought you down or disappointed you with that ten of wands swords i'm sorry you know very painful hurtful loss i see things getting much better if you can let go of your inhibition and fear of, of rejection and fear of expression of your feelings all right let it flow let it flow you need to let it flow all right and that goes for all of us i think we can all take a page from that all right so there is the weekend viewer tarot and i'm going on to do another reading if you like this content, please make sure you're subscribed and your notifications are on and share. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.